let us talk about the characteristics of project based learning the project based learning is often differentiated by the following characteristics number 1 the interdisciplinary the real world challenges are rarely solved because uh, not every world problem is resolved so some of them uh, still remain without being uh, resolved with a solution so they are rarely solved using information or the skills from a single subject area in pbl that is in project based learning the projects require students to use content knowledge and skills from multiple academic domains to engage in inquiry solution building and the product construct construction so they cannot limit themselves with one particular subject so this will also engage them and entertain them and facilitate them to know about the other domain so the other domain knowledge is also gained by a student using this project based learning number 2 is rigorous the challenges set out in pbl often require the application of knowledge and skills so this is what is the difference between a faculty centered learning and a student centered learning and also the modern teaching technologies and the requirement of the industry from the students so they don't want your knowledge alone they want your skills and the skill set so this project based learning will allow and facilitate the students to apply their knowledge as well as the skills and not just recall or recognition typically students first steps will be to engage in a process of inquiry this leads to deeper deeper learning so this is what is important that is why we call this as a student centered learning students should start uh um, researching they should start finding out what is that what is that what is that so they need to have a deeper learning and not just the academic content but also the use of the content in the real world application so this is what is the one which makes the difference between the faculty centered and the student centered and here the students when they involve in the project based learning they go into deeper learning and they don't limit their knowledge with the academic content or the syllabus they go just beyond and think about the real way world situations and they understand how these concepts what they study in the academics to be applied on resolving those problems this is then leads to the development of solutions that address the problem or challenge of the project and the creation of products to communicate solution to an audience so this is how the product development takes place and the innovation takes place creativity takes place and sometimes even invention takes place and then it is student centered the third characteristic is as we kept on talking about the modern technologies or the teaching methodologies that is student centered so in pbl in project based learning the role of the teacher shifts from content deliverer to the facilitator so the teachers my dear ladies and gentlemen please do understand that the faculty driven uh, or the faculty centered atmosphere which we all learned you know the old teaching methodologies had something like the teacher teaching or they become a content deliverer but now as a student centered approach we need to be a facilitator a coach or a project manager so the students work more independently with the teacher providing support only when needed so if this becomes a faculty driven student centered approach and the student will be involving in the projects and teacher will be supporting whenever it is required but throughout the project they i think uh, most of the teachers will be monitoring that is why they can also be called as a mentor or the guide so my dear ladies and gentlemen my dear teachers please do implement this project based learning and let me through let me know through your comments in this video as to how you experience and how we can go ahead with this and thank you so much for listening